Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Wright here, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for tuning in to my latest video. So for a patient who attended with a blocked right ear, they have quite a narrow and twisty ear canal and there you can see the plug of wax. It extends right from the entrance of the ear all the way to the eardrum. And just to the right here, we've got some very sticky, syrupy, honey type of wax. Initially, I've just used a Zolna suction probe to see if I can micro suction this plug of wax out of the ear. And I'm just trying to go to the base of the ear canal and lift it off the base, so detach it from the bottom part of the ear canal. Quite often you get skin adhesions that not only attach themselves to the surface of the ear canal, but to the underside of the wax plug. And I've got a suction grip here and I'm trying to wriggle this out. However, because the patient's ear is quite narrow and twisty, this um, plug of wax, dry plug, it's well and truly uh, lodged. And I'm just giving it a second attempt with the suction probe. And you can see, we, we know we're at the entrance because we can see all the cilia, the hair. So these hairs are typically located on uh, the first bend of the ear canal, which is about a half a centimetre into the ear. And again, I'm just trying to wriggle this out. So instead, I think this stage, I'm going to resort to a St. Bart's ear hook. And I'm trying to insert the hook as deep as possible into the ear. And you can see I'm slowly using the tip of the, fork, or the hook to br extract the wax out. And then before I embedded the, the tip of the hook into the core of the wax and before slowly extracting it, it's quite a long piece of wax there. It almost looked like a cigar. And you can see the patient's got a very nice, healthy eardrum. Probably appreciate how narrow the ear is now that I've removed the wax. So I'm just going to go back now. I'm just going to mop up all this residual wax. Now, this wax is just um, wax that's coating the ear canal wall. It's not significant per se. It's not going to uh, cause any hearing loss. But because it's near the entrance and the cartilaginous portion, I'm just going to see if I can remove as much out as I can possibly, as safely as possibly. That's the key. And that's because, because it's sticky, it may not migrate on its own accord. Sometimes with sticky wax, the wax gets trapped near the entrance. So I'm just using a Jobson horn now, and I'm just using it to slowly scoop the wax um, off the surface of the ear, uh, the ear canal itself. Because we're on the cartilaginous portion, so the outer third, we can put a bit of pressure here. If we were using the Jobson horn on the inner two thirds of the ear canal, the bony part would have to be really, really gentle because that can be really uncomfortable for the patient. And you'll see in a moment as well, the patient has got a bit of psoriasis, a bit of eczema, or what we call otitis externa, just more externally of the ear as opposed to inside the ear canal itself. And just here to the left, you can see where I am with the Jobson horn, there's a bit of dry skin there. So the patient has been prescribed some cream for that. And hopefully that will settle now. It's a lovely crystal clear view of the patient's eardrum. And this is that plug of wax that I removed. The patient uh, reported it looked like a torpedo because it was quite arrowed and narrowed on one end. So I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. It's just a quick one. Um, I've just been really, really busy at clinic before Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed that and I shall speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye.